Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Uh, I can't see you. Yeah. I know. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. Are you gonna? Yeah. I can see you now. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. How yeah. are you? Yeah. I'm good. I'm good, man. Yeah. I'm also good. Thank you. Yeah. So today uh, we'll have a discussion about uh, uh, like you cleared the uh, your B1 exam in a single attempt. First of all, congratulations. And I I would like to uh, know your experience. How did you learn? And uh, how did you manage? How many hours you learn? Right. So let's start with your sm a small introduction, like yeah. your field of education. What are you doing currently? Your requirement of learning yeah. German and all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, I am Dr. Shreyanand Goel. I'm 30 years old. I am from uh, Ludhiana, Punjab. Uh, orthopedic surgeon, but I'm currently working in the hospital. Right now. And uh, I have been learning German uh, since uh, a bit more than one year now. I started with uh, Namaste German in May last year. And my experience has been uh, great so far. And uh, uh, sorry to uh, my sorry to interrupt. Uh, 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 sorry to interrupt. Your voice is very uh, it's it's very low. Can you please just check your mic or I don't know it's getting low. Okay. 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 Uh, Increase the volume. I'll I'll try and speak a bit louder. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So should I start again? Yeah, please. Yeah. Uh, so my name is uh, Dr. Shrenuj Goel. I am uh, 30 years old. I am from Lukhana, Punjab. Uh, I am an orthopedic surgeon by profession. And I am currently working in a hospital in Great Noida. Uh, I have been learning German uh, since more than uh, one year now. A bit more than one year. Mm -hmm. And uh, I uh, started with uh, Namaste German uh, in uh, June last year and my experience has been uh, great so far. Uh, uh, my requirement of uh, learning German language is that I uh, wanted to pursue some higher education or training in Germany. Uh, in my mind only. Uh, that requirement I, uh, I wish to take a, a, a German language course. Mm -hmm. And I appeared for my uh, B1 exam in April. Uh, I cleared in uh, the first attempt as I am uh, uh, said. And uh, regarding the studying hours, uh, I'll be very frank and uh, honest with you people. Uh, uh, apart from uh, the usual one hour lecture that uh, I used to have one on one. Uh, uh, I used to give about one, one and a half hour uh, apart from that uh, lecture, okay. apart from those lectures. Uh, except for the time when I was about to appear for my exam, like uh, two, three weeks before my exam, I, I used to devote more hours uh, for that preparation part. But otherwise, it used to be like one, one and a half hour. Okay, so after the class, you were like uh, devoting 1.5 hour to like self-study you were doing? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Okay. Great. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So we have four modules uh, in B one like Lazen, Schreiben, uh, Huron, and Expression. So any uh, yeah. recommendation, like uh, any suggestion, would you like to give? Like Lazen part, one should our aspirants. So this like this much you should uh, give time or how did you manage because it's huge vocabulary in B1 also. So how did you manage? How much time you were daily giving uh, the vocabulary? Uh, for vocabulary ma'am, uh, as I said, uh, uh, one and uh, the uh, duration after class used to be one, one and a half hours. Either it it used to be uh, vocabulary or the model papers which I used to uh, which I used to do before my examination. Mm -hmm. uh, there is this book, uh, Certificate Bayans Noy. I think you only had recommended me that. Uh, 
and uh, I did uh, that book. Uh, I completed that book for uh, uh, my B1 examination, okay. and that actually helped me a lot uh, with the with the time management and uh, the kind of uh, situation I'll be getting in the exam. Uh, I used to uh, do it in a proper uh, uh, exam setup, like uh, the Lazen exam is the uh, 65 minutes. So I used to uh, start my uh, timer, and my uh, uh, my uh, I, I tried to complete that exam uh, within the stipulated time okay. for like what I'll be getting getting in my exam. So uh, for Lazen and for every module rather, the vocab is very important. Uh, without a doubt uh, the, uh, the there are some uh, pdfs which are available on goethe website uh, a2 vocab b1 vocab apart from that uh, the recommendation is uh, to get the vocab out of the question papers that you are uh, going to uh, there are a, a lot of new words which may or may not be in that uh, uh, vocabulary period. Mm -hmm. So you ha uh, you ideally should take those out too, because there is uh, a lot of vocabulary which is getting repeated. But I used to hear from many YouTube channels as well. So the idea is to the my my mantra is to uh, do practice more rather than uh, going through just the gram grammar and the vocab part, uh, you should uh, you should put that uh, knowledge into practice also. Okay, so you mean that we should it, give more time to uh, this exam practice than the grammar part? Uh, the, uh, that is what I feel. Then. I have okay. been uh, going through many examinations. That, that's what I have mm -hmm. experienced. Okay. okay. Uh, including in this uh, Goethe exam. Okay. Yeah, so this is like, you know, uh, grammar is nobody is going to ask you in this exam. So you mean that we should more, we should be more focused on the uh, lesson and uh, this listening and the Schreiben part. Okay, that's good. Definitely not. Right, right, right. And what are the plus points, uh, uh, wh what you find like are the plus points learning with us? What are the benefits? Uh, what do you yeah. think like? Uh, first and foremost will be the flexibility of uh, uh, the uh, time. Since I am a full-time working professional, working in a, a good, a good, uh, a good setup, so my uh, first, uh, foremost priority was to uh, get the flexibility of time, which uh, doesn't hamper with my uh, professional life. And uh, secondly, uh, I uh, did my A to till uh, Raman sir, and then after you took over, uh, both of my teachers have been. Uh, Par excellence. So I have had the freedom of you know uh, sharing anything, sharing my doubts without any hesitation. Since it was a one-on-one -on -one class, you have the you have that liberty of sharing anything without you know getting a bit uh, uh, skeptical. Correct. You don't so need to that, be very hesitant. You can be like you know yeah. to when this is a flexibility one can find, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, I would say professionalism was also uh, up to the mark and beyond expectation actually. Okay. Uh, the, the classes used to be fairly regular, the timings were fairly regular and uh, it used to get uh, paid on both ends. Like we'll be taking up next class on this time, this grade. So that, that was also a very convenient part. Then you get homeworks also, uh, House of Baba. Yeah. Yes ma'am. Okay. Exactly. And what else? Like, you, what are your suggestions to B1 aspirants? Uh, my suggestion would be that which I told before, man. Uh, practice, practice, practice. Uh, focus more on you know uh, model papers. Uh, it, it it worked for me. It worked for me. So I can say that this is a valid option. Uh, I am not saying this is the only strategy. Right. But one of the strategies that may actually work for you. So, how many model papers uh, you did it your own? Uh, Ma'am, there were fifteen in that book which uh, I did, which I okay. told that that day and why. Apart from that, uh, a, a couple of model test papers we did in class also mm. in our class, yeah. and uh, yeah, that was uh, more or less. Uh, I think that is more than sufficient, like 15 you did and yeah. uh, five, 5 to 6 model papers I think we did in the class. Yeah, and so that, that gives you, 
so uh, yeah. yeah so that gives you exam confidence you don't exactly. uh, have to worry uh, worry about you know the time uh, i did uh, uh, particularly for the time management like i uh, for example for lesson i targeted uh, my lesson exam to be completed within uh, like 50 55 minutes okay. so that i have a sufficient time for marking because marking is very important you may have uh, uh, got the answer correct but mm-hmm. in the hurry of marking if you mark it incorrectly the uh, whole exercise is futile so the time management is very important and that will only be uh, that uh, you will only be learning uh, if you are uh, doing more and more model papers it is just like driving a car the more you drive the more confident you get so means you have 65 minutes of time but you stop yourself at 50 minutes so that you can just save save yeah. some time to uh, for marking yeah, yeah that's a, yes, a great idea yeah nice yeah. and now you have started your b2 you have already started yes, your b2 how is your learning going yes, on it, it is it has been same as uh, same as ever uh, the classes have been uh, fairly informative and fairly regular and uh, i feel uh, i'll be doing good at pitu also as i did at pitu thanks to you and sir and uh, hopefully we will be appearing again for the pitu interview as well yeah <laughs> why not yeah sure yeah. i'm looking forward <laughs> to this pitu interview yeah, also yeah same so here. what is the difference you find like as of now b1 and b2 learning yeah the uh, the gram uh, the grammatical part has uh, you know exceeded quite a bit uh-huh. uh, from b1 b1 to b2 a2 i also took my a2 examination prep a2 to b1 was not not that much of a, a leap i would say mm, yeah correct. b1 to b2 b2 uh, b1 to b2 is uh, uh, the grammar gets very huge very It's deep and very uh, you know authentic and the uh, the modules get very difficult i have been doing uh, a few modules now individual modules like lesson over and uh that is some level i would say yeah so text the length of the text is like yes drastically changed yes, a to yes, b1 yes. is almost like like not at the same page yeah but to, but up to some extent it's quite say, similar we can say Yeah, yeah yeah that's what i felt yeah b2 c1 is like almost at the same level almost not like c1 okay. is something like different but yeah yeah okay so yeah so all the very best for your b2 uh, level thank you. Thank and you. hope we'll be having so another interview uh, once you clear your b2 exam yeah i'm looking i'm really hopeful yeah. and uh, yeah thank you okay so that is thank you so much for your time Thank you for having me.